Hello, this is Seamus, Sen7MYW. Today I received this wonderful little adapter that goes on the back of the Yaesu FT818. Now, apparently, both the Yaesu FT818 and 817 had real problems with this connector for the power. And here, this little stem in here would break off. Well, some enterprising hams came up with a wonderful fix and what they did was they added some Anderson power poles to this wonderful little 3D printed adapter with the plug. This goes right on to the back of the radio and then all you need to do is to take this set screw, put the set screw in here, which actually is going into the ground screw. So you can still put your ground on there if you need to. But there are other places that you can put the ground screw. So I'm going to screw that in there. And now that that is set in there, I am using for mine the BioNO 100. And I believe it's a 160. I'd have to double check here which model it is I do have. This is the BBP 160. And it's an amazing, amazing little battery pack. Well, this is going to allow me to be able to use this Yaesu FT818 with full 3.8 volt DC. Here, there are already power Anderson power poles attached to this small little converter. All you'd have to do is to just to slide that into there. This is just going to cut around here. I can just uh, worm it in there. We're almost in there. There we go. So that just goes into there. Take this, turn the bio in all around, plug this into the output. It's hard to do this with one hand. I'll hold the camera. It's up here. This around. Turn on the bio eno, which is showing DC, and turn it on. And there it is. 14.3 volts is actually what's coming out of that battery pack, out of the bio eno. This is an amazing little battery pack for taking on the go, and this is going to be perfect for running QRP. And will give me a full 6 watts out on this. So, a wonderful little invention, I must say. So, uh, you, can get, you can get these from various people online. Um, I picked mine up on eBay, and I think I paid $16 or $17 for it. It's a little more expensive, but it's going to keep your plug from breaking off in there and uh well what uh it's not going to come off there anymore now it's just going to stay in there and then just have that slid onto there and away you go anyway just wanted to share that with all of you if you happen to have an 818 or an 817 and uh, are interested in a fix for that you might go look that up online if you enjoyed this video please click that like button subscribe thanks for watching 7MYW, Seamus, 73.